America was forged. From nothing came everything we believe in. But the America our grandparents knew is not the America we now know. My late grandfather told me when he was eight years old he used to sit at the corner store and listen to the old timers talk about the war. That war they were soldiers in was the Civil War. As a society we have become so removed from our history that the story of America has become just that, a story. It's told like a chapter in a book. My grandfather at that same age of eight used to also get up at 5 a.m. and walk to the tannery in Peabody, Massachusetts, where he would pull tacks out of the hides by hand. Early mornings and bloody hands, he had a sense of urgency to work towards something, to help support his family who had immigrated from Greece with nothing. America once flourished with mills and factories built by immigrants, new Americans looking for a better life. There was real struggle, and Americans were driven to succeed, which manifested itself in the form of invention and revolution. But greed took over, and government failed the people who fought to preserve this way of life. Trade deals that forced our factories to purge the workers and send our machinery overseas. Empty mills, eroding infrastructure, knowledge forgotten. I'm asking you, what happened to the risk takers, the factory workers, the mill makers? We walk around with our heads down and lack the calluses my grandfather had earned at eight years old. We rely on the backs of foreign labor to make the stuff we need and wear. And by doing so, have also given to them our knowledge and secrets. More importantly, what we have given away is ourselves. We have given away America freely and blindly. The reason we are so drawn to the mats is because we have a primal desire to be part of a pack, a tribe, a band of brothers. When our bare feet touch the cold mats, it evokes emotion and releases a chemical in our brains that makes us feel alive. Our mind says it's time to go to work. It's time to sweat. It's time to get dirty. It's time to turn your soft hands into the calloused hands we all yearn for. It's our way to stay connected to the struggle. We are an elite few, an army of 500,000 geek clad and warriors worldwide. What connects us all is only understood by us and can't be explained to those who are not part of this. The armor we make for you is an extension of the American Revolution. We are reclaiming the dream of making. The men in this masterpiece are real men, like Washington riding the Gadsden Rattler, they are also swordless soldiers. In their minds, the words they are hearing is, Don't tread on me. They are the grandsons of French, Irish, Greek, and Brazilian immigrants who came to become part of America. They are the ones reclaiming our machinery, tools, and knowledge. Two of Washington's warships watch over the harbor, flying the same flags they once flew and appeal to heaven for one, and on the other, the Gadsden flag, which reads, don't tread on me. Have you forgotten that our independence was won through the sacrifice of our ancestors? Have you forgotten that the movement of the people is the true power Americans have? That unified we can move mountains. It hasn't been easy reclaiming the tools and knowledge to build the world's most advanced jujitsu gi. It hasn't been without struggle developing innovative textiles and educating the world that this 500-year-old uniform should be changed. And that to create performance armor for this sport could only be done here in America, where the rushing waters of Maine's rivers were once harnessed to power looms and factories. We are an extension of a world that was lost for a single moment. The fog is lifting and we are burning the propaganda that says American manufacturing is dead. Don't tread on me. Don't tread on me. Can you truly feel those words? I can. I can feel the burden of building a factory from scratch. I can feel the struggle of resurrecting a loom. I can relate to the other men and women who have gone all in on an idea. And I certainly can look at our symbol of freedom and be proud 
that my grandfather went to war to protect it. This is the story of us and of you. It's the story of origin and our revolution in manufacturing. This Axiom Gi and Rash Guard will be the first limited edition Gi manufactured in our new 20,000 square foot factory this fall. The capital from this project will be part of a $1 million expansion project here in the foothills of Maine's Western Mountains. 600 customers will be able to order an origin Don't Tread On Me Gi and Rash Guard. The fabric will be woven and knit, cut and sewn, packed and shipped by hand right here. And you will know that calluses will be built as Americans' hands go to work on this masterpiece for you. July 4th, history will be made. We want you to be part of this history.